This video is being done for educational purposes. I'm going to teach you how to skin a small animal. I'm unwrapping the paracord from the handle of this AR-7. So I need the rope. I'm going to... I measured enough paracord. Go around the bar and make it about halfway. Do that again. Go to about halfway between these two bars. Cut it off. Alright. The rest of that I will put in the cabin for later. We'll come up here. And tie this right there. Pull it tight. And we'll come to this other one. that there and pull it tight. I now have two two ropes. Put a loop in this one. Loop in this one. Get this little girl up here. Those ropes around her hind legs. And get her hanging. This is actually not the optimal height, but I'll work with it. Now. This is a female. You can see her pouch right here. Possums are North America's only marsupial. So we've taught to have a bucket handy. Go ahead and put a trash bag in that bucket. Because there will be internals to the animal that we're not going to keep, those will go straight down into the bucket. This is one of the wash basins out of the cabin. I have filled it with some cool water because as we get the stuff out of the animal that we're going to keep and as we get done with the carcass, we're going to put it in here and wash it. You are also going to need a gallon size Ziploc bag for an animal this size and a smaller Ziploc bag. That's to put everything into. I'm going to take my wrist brace off get started at this. So you want to come in around both legs and cut just through the skin. Now you run that knife up under the skin and we're going to split this right down to the backside to the vent as some people call it. Okay this one up under the skin here. There we go. Now, split that right there. Now, let's go ahead and peel the skin around. Oh, I can get all the way through on this side. There we go. And then pull down. In this side. Don't want to get too deep enough the first time. There we go. On the back side, we have a vent or a butthole. We're going to cut on either side and then cut down into the tail. I am not going to be saving the tail on this animal. Now, should be able to 
grab, cut around the tail. Set my knife down for a minute here so that I can get my fingers in there. And there we go. There it is. All right. Grab the skin on both sides and pull straight down. Come in here around the arms. Get your finger in between it. Come down on this joint. What? I'm just gonna cut right here through the skin. One free. There we go. Skins off. Now we're going to remove these front feet, finding the joint and going through it. I'm going to cut right here around the base of the skull. Bring the head back. Run the knife through the vertebrate. All right. Up here, some of this skin. Okay. Now, we need to come in right up here. We're going to eviscerate her. What I'll do is put the knife and my finger, make a small hole, put the finger behind the hole, put the knife on the finger, and then run the finger down. Now the reason I do it this way is so that when I get there, I'm not puncturing anything with the point of the knife. My finger is actually writing in front of the knife and I'm using the cutting blade. All right, this is the bladder. Boy, her bladder was full. I'm gonna pinch that off. Slice it and drop it. All right, so. I just ran the knife up between her two legs and cut to one side of the vent. And I'm going to cut on the other side of the vent. Reach around behind here. Break it free. Cut it free. Cut the connecting tissue anyway. There's her vent. Okay. Come right down here. This. Go ahead and open this up a little more. Alright. Pull most of this free. This right here is the liver. That's a liver, and it looks like her gall duct is empty, which is this piece right there, that little piece right there. 
Now, normally that's full of a green material, green liquid, called gall. And you've got to remove that to make the liver edible. But you've got to do it without breaking the, un the sack. So this one was empty, but normally what you do is cut a little bit of liver around it and take that. Alright, right in here up against the backbone, there are two little nodules. Look like that. Those are kidneys. Yes, kidney is edible, kidney is good. However, to do a kidney, kidneys are contained in a sack. So I'm just running a sharp edge of the knife around the edge of the sack. and then popping the kidney out. Let's do that again. Sharp edge of the knife. Right around the edge of the kidney. Just split in the sack and then push it out of the sack and the whole sack comes down to the bottom there. Take that knife Slice the sack off. Kidneys are good eating, especially fried or in pie. Okay. So the uh, digestive system away, cut out the diaphragm. Cutting out the diaphragm gives me access to inside the chest cavity. There we go. Which, there's a set of lungs, and there's the heart. Let me cut the heart loose here. There's the heart, and it looks like the bullet that I shot her with went clean through the heart, through and through, which meant a good, quick, clean death. All right, now that I have got her pretty much skinned out. I'm going to trim off any fur and I'm going to go ahead and trim around the tail. So uh, do this. And I'll bend that tail back, break the bone, and slip this knife up underneath it. Cut it off. Alright, so let's pull loose these ropes that I've got her hanging with. Oh, let me break her leg bone and just slice right on through. Throw that there and we'll do the back foot. I'm going to point out that where that foothold trap had her, right here, there is no broken bone. So they do not break the bone, they do not hurt the animal. You know, I got this strange feeling somebody's about to come on here and complain about me doing this barehanded. And how, oh, you ought to be wearing gloves. I've been skinning animals barehanded since I was 11. I may wear gloves in the future, but right now I'm not too worried about it, and I don't have any with me. So now that I've got this in the water, you want to cool the meat off as quickly as possible. So we got liver, heart, kidney, kidney. All right. Take the sandwich size Ziploc bag. We're going to put all the internals in it. They are good fried. Get enough you can make kidney and liver pie. You can do a lot of things with them. However, 
if you're one of those who goes, oh my God, I don't eat internal organs, that's fine. I understand that. Take them home anyway, boil them, and give them to your dog or your cat. Because I guarantee they will love you for it. Whatever you do, don't let it go to waste. All right. We get the carcass cooled. We've rubbed it a little. What you do rubbing it in cold water is you get some of that blood out of it. All right. Now, I'm going to take a Ziploc bag, gallon size. I'm going to grab this one by front and back legs. Drain the water out of it, drop it down the Ziploc bag. She is ready to go in the freezer. You know what? I was wrong. Rather than two bags, open it up and toss that inner bag inside. Alright. Now it's ready to go in the freezer.